manager Tommy Shepard recently discussed the team's decision to trade Russell Westbrook this offseason, saying Russ never demanded a trade, but told him that if he could get to his hometown Lakers, he would, quote, love to do so. However, when Shepard asked Westbrook, what about the Clippers? Russ apparently responded with an adamant, hell no. Mm. I don't say that on TV a lot. Shannon, how much did you love Russ's answer? H E. Double hockey stick, no. That's what he said. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Time out. Wait a minute, Skip. Now, you mean to tell me Russ would want to play with Kawhi? Mm. Now, this is what we know for certain. He reached out to KD. KD said, nah, I'm good, bro. Mm. He reached out to Kyrie. Nah, I'm straight. You're talking about Kawhi. Kawhi, yeah. yes. That's what right. I'm talking about, Kawhi. Yep. He reached out to Jimmy Bucket. Jimmy Buckets. Mm -hmm. Nah, bro. We straight mm. over here. <laughs> if I'm not mistaken... Russ also played with PG. Mm. You mean to tell me he didn't want to go back with PG? Mm. Every, he had it in for PG ever since he put that five spot on him. Mm. In Utah, Russ balled out, 45. Mm. Mm. PG, what you got? I got five on it, partner. Mm. Man, we going to California, and all you got is five dollars on the trip? Mm. That's it, bro. <laughs> he said, hell no, nah, not no Clippers. Mm. Everybody want to play in L.A. Okay. But the Lakers. I think that my man Shannon Sharp, or as I call him, Le Shannon Sharp, is leaving out a crucial bit of history. One last piece to this puzzle to explain why he said, hell no. Nah. This happened before all that happened because Ramona Shelburne, ESPN, has reported that Russ badly wanted to get home to L.A. while he was in OKC. Mm -hmm. So she says and writes that teaming up with Leonard would be the fastest way to get back home. Mm -hmm. So Russ placed a call, according to Ramona, yeah. according, she says, to multiple sources, placed a call to Kawhi Leonard. But Leonard didn't just take the call as one native son of Los Angeles to another and ponder it and file it away. Nope, says Ramona, he, Kawhi, used it. He used the call because, according to multiple sources, Leonard then called Westbrook's teammate in Oklahoma City, Paul George, and told him he'd rather team up with him in a homecoming oh, because Paul snitching. George is also from So he's dry snitching. Well, however you want to... He's snitching. That's how I want to... You that's how I sum wanna, it up. That's how I summed it up, okay. snitching. All right, so here's what happened. Russ so badly wanted to get home that he actually called on bended knee. He called Kawhi and said, and you added said, that please, right. please, I added that. But I, I can just tell you that figuratively he was on bended knee yeah. saying, please let me come play with you in Los Angeles because I need to get home. That was the he end. was more than willing to play with the Clippers than run by Kawhi Leonard. He was much, he, he would have crawled all the way home to where a Clipper uniform just to get home. Right. But once he then realized that he had been had by Kawhi Leonard, who can, he can, he can yeah. pull some fast ones Yeah, old Two-Face. Old Two-Face, because L L Kawhi Leonard had taken... He got taken a perfect number. He got a perfect number and for the faces. Yep, Two-Face. Yeah, he is Two-Faced, and I will give you that, because he did a number on LeBron <laughs> James, because LeBron, according to all of our sources, all of our reporters here yeah. at Fox, was telling everybody that we we got Kawhi yeah. before the night of July yeah. the 5th of two years ago. Do yeah. you remember that? I do remember it. And you want to talk about getting rug jerked out from under you? Whoa. And guess what? We got old Kawhi, too. We got a title. Did you? Yep, just okay. in the Beverly Hills. Got me one coming. <sighs> you also get a ring. <laughs> <laughs> So, I'm hating. Okay, I'm not hating. I'm just truth telling. The point was that Russ got burned, and Russ knew he got burned by one Kawhi Leonard who had burned LeBron James. He had pulled the fastest one on LeBron and, and did a, a number on Russ because he realized, oh, if Russ wants out, that could open the door for yeah. Paul George, and I would much rather. Well, what did he do? He, he, LeBron should learn his lesson here. Kawhi, who also has high basketball IQ, said, there's no way I want to play with Russell Westbrook because he's impossible to yeah. win with. I don't want him as my point guard. I want Paul George as my wing. Yeah. I, I need my bookend wing. I got his never won anything. But anyway, mm. and KD said, why, why didn't KD want to play with him? What about Kyrie? What about Jimmy Buckets?
Well, they, they didn't want to play with Russ. So no, they remember. didn't want to play. They didn't want to play with Kawhi because he reached out to them before he called PG. Mm. And PG thought, oh, man, Kawhi want to play with me. Bro, you were the fourth option. Mm. <laughs> you were the fourth option. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Remember when you were in middle school and they said, okay, what do you want? Because each grade got a chance mm. uh, to pick the meal. Yep. You know, we always pick pizza, WK mm. corn. I didn't, I, for the longest time, I didn't know what mm. WK corn. Whole kernel. Mm. I was like, what is WK corn? What the hell does that mean? Whole kernel. Yeah, yeah. I finally realized mm. that. But I like cream corn myself. Mm. something to that. But anyway, Skip. High calorie. Fourth option. Mm. Your guy, PG, was the fourth option. How that make him feel knowing that KD, Kyrie, and Jimmy Butler all got calls before him? Yeah, you're over there key, key, keying about <laughs> hell no. <laughs> hell and no, and hell he's no. saying hell no because he doesn't want to go play with Kawhi Leonard, who bamboozled him just the way Kawhi bamboozled your man LeBron James. Guess what he said? Bamboozled the, him. The GM, what, what's the, hey, Jenny, what's the GM for the uh, 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 Wizards name? Name is forgetting now. Tommy Shepard. Yeah, Tommy, Tommy Shepard went to Russ and Russ. What about yes. the Clippers? Yeah. Hell no, I won't go. Hell no, I won't go. <laughs> well, why, why would you want to go play with a guy who jilted you? Why would I want to play with a guy who that took you to the cleaners? Why would I want to go ran circles around you? Why would I want to use your phone call to get your teammate? Why would I want to go play with a guy that doesn't practice? Why would I want to get play with a guy that stays injured? Mm. Why would I want to play that the schedule revolves around him? Then why would he call Kawhi in the first place to want to play with him? You didn't know what you didn't know. No. And now that you know that I can't play with you, bro. Mm. You broke. Down. You broke down more than that 75 Pinto. He, <laughs> he got humiliated. No, he didn't. By Kawhi Leonard. So obviously his reaction to Tommy Shepard is gonna be hell no, I don't want to go play for a guy who took me to the cleaners. Kawhi's gotten humiliated. He got humiliated by the Nuggets. Mm. I'm not, yeah, by the Nuggets, mm. up 3-1. He got yeah. humiliated. Then he got humiliated by LeBron James mm. because the guy that he chose not to play with went and got a championship before him. Mm. Three teams, three MVPs. Three chips. Keep That's going, what we man. do. They call us the chips. Man, we got more chips than Frito Lay. Mm. <laughs> Ain't nobody got chips like us, bud. Mm. Ain't nobody got it. I keep warning you, Kawhi's going to be back by March. Be back. He'll be in playoff form by April, and okay, here they will whatever. come after you. And I just whatever. hope, I just hope for your sake, for my sake, that they meet in the conference finals because the Clippers will get ultimate revenge over what's left. Clippers ain't going to get nothing. Clippers going to get their butt out of our building. That's what the Clippers going to get. Yeah, they're going to go to <laughs> Taj Mahal is where they're going. And, 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 Skip, y'all ain't got no fans. The only Clipper fans mm. that y'all got are not the Lakers fans that can't come sell flake. Our, our tickets are expensive. Mm -hmm. So they go to the Lakers, two for a dollar. Mm. Yeah, y'all get a half price. And all the condiments, all the all the uh, concession is free. Go to a Clipper game. By June, this is going to be Kawhi Town. <laughs> Never. That little keychain with Never. that crown dangling will belong to Feels Kawhi. Feels like a long We got one K in Atlanta. It's called Korea Town, mm. not Kawhi Town. March yeah. is a long <laughs> way away. Uh, okay, we'll see. Did the Cowboys blow win cover Mike McCarthy's four o'clock management situation? Mm. We will explain next. Now work on the court quickly after Russ joined the team, and the two haven't stopped since. During yesterday's media day, LeBron said the two have been, quote, tied at the hip pretty much since we made the acquisition. Shannon, do you like LeBron's approach here? I love it. That's what leaders do. Mm. Leaders automatically come in and they lead. Mm. Okay, Russ is going to be new to the situation. He's going to be a very important piece. He's a member of the big three. I played with AD for two years. So I know what AD like. I know what AD likes the ball. AD knows how I think. I know how AD think. Let me get the new guy on board. Let me get Russ. Let's go to the gym, Russ. And let me find out a little bit more about you. I know you got a wife. I know you have kids. But line out what you like. What's your favorite food? What you like to do in your off time? Where you like favorite place to vacation? And just start going from there. I know a guy that said in the very same building, I happen to be in the basement, would he have done something like this? Mm. <laughs> Probably not. But anyway, that's neither here nor there. We're not I mean, even the guy, if he hadn't gotten hurt, would have been well, in the finals, would have won it all last year? Stop Kawhi it. Leonard. Stop it. Stop it. So this is what Russ, this is what LeBron does. LeBron is a true definition of a leader. He understands how to get people to come together mm. for a common goal. Yep. And the common goal is to win a championship and shut people up like you mm. that doubts Russell Westbrook is capable mm. of winning, being on a championship winning team. Uh, you believe he's incapable of doing that? Incapable. Okay.
cannot teach old dog new tricks. I don't need to teach him new tricks. Mm. I just need him to get better at the tricks he already knows. Mm. So you see what I'm saying, Skip Bayless? So I do admire LeBron's approach here. It's the only way. It, it's, it's his only hope. He's got to attach himself at the hip to Russ to try to completely win him over, to bond with him to the point that Russ is is a close friend of his. He, he wants to deepen the friendship because if you're close enough friends, then maybe you'll defer at the proper moments to LeBron because in the end, you have to defer to LeBron because who's the more valuable piece to this puzzle? Yeah, it's obviously yeah. LeBron. So this is you're asking a guy who's never deferred to anybody to occasionally at the correct moment, defer to LeBron James. Mm -hmm. I don't think he's capable of I that. do. Okay, and my favorite quote yesterday from Russ was, he said that LeBron out of anybody else knows what it takes to win a championship. Okay, by that. And then he said, he's trying to show me that to have the understanding of the commitment